For more physics-related videos, please subscribe. Welcome to the Physics Almanac. In this video, I'm going to be answering the question, at what angle must you throw a ball in order to maximize its range? And I'm going to be doing this assuming that the ball will be thrown and caught at the same height. I've rated the physics level in this video as easiest. First thing I'm going to do is make a quick sketch of the scenario in order to visualize what's going on. The ball will be thrown and will follow a parabolic path until it's caught. It will be thrown with an initial velocity v0 at some angle theta above the horizontal, and I'm going to call its range delta x. This is the value we're trying to maximize. Now recall that velocity is a vector, meaning it's an arrow that has a length, representing its speed, and a point in some direction. So it has a velocity in the x or horizontal direction, and a velocity in the y or vertical direction. While the ball is in the air, the only force acting on it is gravity in that point straight down. There are no forces in the horizontal direction, therefore the x velocity is constant throughout the entire trajectory. This is not the case for the y velocity. Using our angle theta, we can rewrite that vx is equal to v0 cosine theta and v0y is equal to v0 sine theta. Next, I'm going to set the initial height to be y equals 0. In our case, this is also going to be the final height. In the case where the initial and final heights are the same, meaning the change in height is zero, or delta y is zero, we have the following expression for the range. Delta x equals v naught squared over g, where g is the acceleration due to gravity, equal to 9.8 meters per second squared, times two sine theta cosine theta. If you're wondering where I came up with this expression for the range, I already derived it in a previous video on projectile motion and range. So if you'd like to understand this better, check out that video. Next, I'm going to make use of a useful trig identity, which says that 2 sine theta cosine theta is equal to sine 2 theta. So now our expression for the range is v naught squared divided by g times sine 2 theta. If you're finding this video interesting so far, be sure to like and subscribe, and maybe share it with a couple friends. Now we're trying to maximize delta x, that's the range. Recall that the sine function ranges from negative 1 to 1. And by visual inspection for our expression for delta x, we can see that in order to maximize delta x, this amounts to maximizing sine 2 theta. Well, the maximum sine 2 theta can be is 1, and this occurs when 2 theta equals 90 degrees. Therefore, in order to maximize the range, we must throw the ball at an angle of 45 degrees above the horizontal. This holds in absence of effects due to air resistance. If you include air resistance, it turns out you have to throw the ball at an angle slightly greater than 45 degrees. Now that you know how to maximize the range in the case where the initial and final heights are the same, can you do it in the case where they're different? Meaning, can you maximize the range when the ball is thrown and caught at different heights? If you'd like to know how to solve this, this will be the subject of my next video, where I will be looking at maximizing the range in the general case. So if you'd like to know how to do this, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and click the bell to be notified for the release of future physics videos. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.